Before your cat's veterinary appointment, it's a good idea to put together a history of your cat's problems. A complete history will help your veterinarian make an accurate and timely diagnosis. A history should include important information such as how long the vomiting or diarrhea has been going on and how frequently it's occurring. This information will provide important clues about the nature of your cat's underlying problem helping your veterinarian to narrow down the list of possible diseases. Providing a complete history can sometimes even reduce the number of diagnostic tests that your cat will need to undergo in order to arrive at a diagnosis. Included in this program is a GI history worksheet. We recommend that you print and complete this form at home and bring it with you to your cat's appointment. This will help to ensure that your veterinarian has your pet's entire GI history, giving him or her more time to focus on your pet during the appointment. To help you prepare this history, this program will teach you how to recognize the important distinguishing features of vomiting and diarrhea in cats. If your cat is suffering from diarrhea, visually examine the stools looking for the presence of fresh blood or mucus on the surface of the stool. These findings are often compatible with inflammation of the colon. Alternatively, stools that are abnormally dark in color may indicate upper GI bleeding. The consistency, frequency, and amount of stools passed are also important. Small amounts of watery stools passed frequently tend to be associated with conditions affecting the colon, whereas large amounts of watery stools, passed infrequently, can alert your veterinarian to possible small intestinal disease. If your cat is suffering from vomiting, first make note of whether your cat's vomiting appears to be a spontaneous, passive event, or whether it is preceded by retching, or involves an abdominal effort to expel the food. Regurgitation of food is more of a passive event and is associated with undigested food getting stuck in the esophagus before it has a chance to enter the stomach. Vomiting, on the other hand, requires the abdominal muscles to contract in order to actively expel the food from the stomach. It's very helpful to your veterinarian if you can distinguish regurgitation from true vomiting. Some other important aspects of vomiting to make note of include how many times a day the vomiting is occurring, and the appearance of the vomitus. Vomitus can consist primarily of undigested whole food or partially digested food. Additionally, examine the vomitus for non-food items, fresh blood, or partially digested blood. Partially digested blood gives vomit an appearance similar to used coffee grounds and indicates inflammation and damage to the lining of the stomach. To prepare your cat's history form, observe and record all these findings and give the form to your veterinarian at the beginning of your cat's appointment. <music>